Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets. Within five minutes of them going on sale, you're going to be outside. You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Henderson. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Tyson gets caught with that punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Good body shot. So more output, at least in the early going. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, really doing a nice job timing his shot, staying busy in this round. All right, let's go. Get that right hand up. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Nice jab by Tyson. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing this whole way. Yeah, I mean, a over and over, he's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Right on the button. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. and both landing. He's hurt bad. Leg kick checked by Tyson. A beautiful shot to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round. Really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. Under a minute now to go in round one. Nice punch, Lance. Just misses there with the left. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Eats a jab there. The fire's separating. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. This could be it! Leg kick land. 
Final seconds here of round one. It's those leg kicks that's eating them alive. Great block there. Oh, wow, wow. Who's next? High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. And a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Tyson's strike attempt there is blocked. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Hook to the head there by Tyson. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now we're going. Real quick leg kick. Right hook to the head, blocked. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Straight right hand, no good. What a beautiful left punch that landed there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. And picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, big punch land. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything this Oh, a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. That shot blocked by Tyson. Circling towards the left now. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. Nice kick. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Missed on the right hand. Oh! Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it. 
as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Unable to connect with the right hand. That was nasty. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, good block there. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Good round. Stop, stop, stop. Great job. You're winning this fight. You're clearly ahead, but you want to finish. Once you do it, you bend it. Your hands are high, you're light on your toes, you're cutting those angles. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? You ready? Let's do All right, here we go, third and final round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice kick. So the head strike starting to pile up. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Look at the redness on his body, man. In the engagement there. Oh, nice man with the knee. You see the taller fighter. Oh, oh my goodness. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That left punch pretty good tonight. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just out of range with that left hook. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, nice. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Fighting from your range is so important. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Big power shot there. 
All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Don't stop! Keep going! Keep going! Yeah. That's how you block a strike. Lands the right hand over the top. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. Really. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. And the cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Nice punch to the head. 30 seconds to go. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Tyson. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding.